Hello everyone, this is Santoshi along with my friend Meghana. I here to present you the face matter that is face mask detector using CNN. CNN, convolutional neural networks are particularly useful for data analysis, image recognition, computer vision, natural language processing, signal processing and variety of other different purposes. They are biologically motivated by functioning of neurons in visual cortex to visual stimuli. In this tough COVID-19 times, masks are openly responsible for everyone. And the reason behind the mask is to prevent the spread of coronavirus from the protection of others. Face masks are very effective in preventing infection after filtering out the majority of cells and creating a strong impression on your nose and mouth. According to the outlet, N95 are the first most effective, then the surgical and cloth are the second most effective mask in the house. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends that people wear homemade cloth face masks when going out in public to help mitigate virus transmission. The level of protection required depends on how important it is to protect from aerosols. Deflection and filtering, how well the cells are prevented from passing through the mask and fit, how well the mask seals around the face and prevent cells from getting around it. So now, let's get started with the face mask detector using CNN. Now let's build CNN. The first step is to import the packages. We've imported the necessary packages. Now let's start data pre-processing. For initializing data pre-processing properties, we need image data generator. Let's create an object of train underscore data gen of the image data generator class. This will apply all the transformations on the images of the training set. The same applies to the testing set. The scale argument will apply feature scaling to each and every single pixel by dividing them with 255 as each pixel and takes a value between 0 and 255. These will help in image argumentation on the training set images so as to prevent the overfitting. The flow from directory will help us to connect the image argumentation tool to the image of the training set. The first parameter is the path of the train set. Second parameter is target underscore size which is the final size of the images when they will be fed into the CNN. The third one is batch size. This is the total number of images we want to have in each batch. We've chosen 32, this is the classic default value. The fourth one is used for classifying class mode. It can be either binary or categorical. In this case, we are using categorical. We can know the two classes present by executing this one. Model sequential is used for initializing CNN. The next step is convolution. First take the CNN object or the convolution neural network from which we will call the add method to add the very first convolution layer which will further be an object of a certain class that is convolution 2D class. The 32 here represents the filters or number of feature detectors. 3,3 is the size of the feature detectors that is number of rows and columns. The activation function we used is ReLU. Lastly, the input underscore shape. This parameter is used because it is necessary to specify the input shape of inputs. Since we are working with the color images, the input underscore shape will be 64,64,3. Now let's continue with pulling. We will add the pulling layer to our convolution layer. Since we are adding the pulling layer, we need to call the add method and inside it we will create an object of max underscore pooling layer or an instance of a certain class which is called max pool 2d class we will pass pool size which is 2 comma 2 this is the second layer let's start flattening we will undergo flattening so that keras will automatically understand that this is the result of all these convolutions and pooling which will be flattened into 1D vector. In this step, the one-dimensional vector will become the input of a fully connected neural network. Now, we will add final output layer, which will be fully connected to the previous hidden layer. Since there are two classes, we are giving units as two. Now, let's compile CNN. We are giving optimizer as Adam, loss as 
categorical cross entropy because the task is categorical classification. Finally, we'll train the CNN. The steps per epoch here is total number of images in the train set divided by the batch size. Validation steps is equal to total number of images in the train set divided by the batch size. Now after training, we will save the model into facemask.h5. Model prediction. To predict an image, first it has to consider from the given data set as mask or without mask. From keras.models, import load model. That means to load the saved model. We are also using the data preprocessing technique here. I'm loading the face mask.h5, that is the model file. I'm taking an image that is with mask image as variable considering image.load underscore image. As we know, we have given CNN target size as 64 by 64. So here also we need to give the same flatten layer and all the convolution layer. Everything will be happened on matrices that is an array. But this is an image. So, we need to convert it into an array. By importing the library and convert image to an array, it is stored as X. So, let's see the shape of X. By predicting the class, it gives as 0. Now, go to the CNN and check whether mask is 0 or not. Here, with mask is 0. So, our prediction is right. Now, let's check without mask. It's one here. Here also it's one. Our prediction is right. Now I want to predict it with names. We'll give the index as with mask and without mask. I'll print by taking another variable called a. So it prints with mask and here without mask. This is how we build the CNN model. Let's look into the face factor video analysis. Let's import the CV2 package and the NumPy package and load the model that we've previously saved. After executing, it captures our video and detects whether the person is found with or without mask. We need to press A in order to exit the video analysis window. An image is captured and is saved in the same folder where the code is present. Future scope. Through the CCTV cameras, we may know whether the person is wearing a mask or not. If the person is found without a mask, it sends an alert message to nearby police station so that the police can rush to that area, give that person a mask along with the fine amount. So by this, a person will be protected and can stop the spread. He or she will never repeat this mistake of coming out without a mask. If a person has symptoms and still comes out without a mask, it may cause a lot of trouble to remaining people who are coming in contact. This solution may help the people not to come out without a mask and be a responsible citizen and a fellow human being to protect and to be protected. Let's take a moment to salute all our frontliners, the doctors, the nurse, the police, the media and many others who are risking their lives to serve us. With great power comes great responsibility. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.